I'm in your pants right now, baby. <laughs> Everybody needs a safe place to go to get away. Maybe that's why people move to where the lawns grow their children's seats tall. To where everyone gets a car when they turn 15 and a half. To where the public schools have more money coming in from the PTA mother's fundraiser than they do from the state. The last time somebody committed a murder in the town that I grew up in, the murderer felt so guilty that he turned himself in. What? This is your brain. This is your brain on the suburbs. Come on. Look at that. It's so stuck up in the fucking clouds that you don't know what's going on down below. An old friend of mine called me recently to ask me what I was doing with my life. His house right on Apple, his brain anchored and rusty. He said he wanted to pick me up so that I could sit shotgun in this brand new Japanese car that's got a brand new Eames Apple spit shine riding. Apple House him had the nerve to truthfully tell me the best year of his life was one that me and him spent tailgating midnight with gasoline forties in a high school house party until the red plastic cups were running on empty. He tells me that he wants to be a sandcastle again. He takes the card at night, he puts in an old CD, and asks me to remind him how to sing along to Third Eye Blind with the windows down. Mm. How to punch full spike this air we breathe, and then with a wedding ring knot in his finger, he asks me to stay the night, smile. Mm. Asks me to dirty hair grease his pillowcase, smile. Asks me to fuck the human right back into him, and just smile it off like a flower filling an empty vase. This is him. Trying to back pocket bribe the doorman in the garden of Eden as if God was a conjugal visitor from some sad fate I'd become his lost prophet intermediary old what? friend. I'm not your Walmart priest selling salvation I don't buy. You know I would if I could, but unlike everything else in your life, salvation cannot be bought at a store. Uh -huh. And yes, you are right. That even though your money and success will not buy me back for the night, it very well will buy you a nice pot of land where you can miracle grow your children's seats tall. And after your fences reach high enough to blot out the sun, we we will be the wood slats you build your fences from. Uh -huh. Don't you get it? Those of us who are not doing anything things with our lives. Are the ones that are in your schools teaching your kids that this life is origami when you fold, right? If this uh -huh. anywhere can't be anything, we are. The drop out of college to join a band of role models. We are the community organizers, the voices on the street, the voices in the headphones, the voices on the internet. We are the wood slats you build your fences from. And these walls, we don't just have voices, nah. We speak brainwashed thick. And so I will not tell you how to live your life, old friend, because I have a suburban father too. And I will not tell you how to raise your kids because I know how you will raise them. What I am telling you is that after we have raised your kids for you, they will be the ones that come home to beat the human right back into you. Uh-huh.